welcome back to our channel coffee with moms lisa's here today and today i have a dollar tree haul for you guys all right so let's get right into it fall items are here halloween items are here and if you like anything that i show you you need to run because i i'm afraid these things are going to go fast i am so happy that dollar tree is stepping up their game these items are definitely worth more than a dollar in my opinion but let's get right into it okay so the first thing I got to show you guys, and I got to get myself, I'm just like really excited. Look at this. Look at these pumpkins. What Dollar Tree? What? Look at them. Now, you know how Dollar Tree has like the other pumpkins and they kind of look a little cheap, especially with their stems. And I always say, just like, you know, paint the stems. Here we go. This definitely is pottery barn home goods anything like that i found it in a dark green look at that stem i just want to show you that stem in detail oh mg what they had a mustard yellow and they had the gray now they did have velvet pumpkins last year but they did not look like this what dollar tree i am blown away okay next thing i'm going to show you are these pumpkins now i love these pumpkins um are they worth a dollar definitely um so there's this one there's this flatter green one now if you guys do not like the colors you can always paint them and then you have this one and i love how they have a speckled look on there i got the corn and then I got the squash. All right. So these are great, especially in a kitchen. You could put them on your tier tray. You could put them on your windowsill. How sticky cute these are. All right. Okay. Another thing I came across in the Halloween section were these. This is what I've been trying to look for for the past couple of weeks. Oh my goodness. Now they have four different ones. I only wanted to get the two. They had a ghost one and then they had a owl yeah they had an owl one i picked up the jack-o-lantern and the skull now what they're called halloween die cut diy boxes okay so on the back there you go take it right off how cute you could put a little tea light right in here you know the battery operated ones I mean, you guys, I can go on and on about DIYs with these. Like, how cute. Especially, I do a lot of movie nights with my kids, okay? How cute would these be having your kids paint these, okay, um, for your movie night and scan them around, like, the little table and have popcorn and all that, and these would light up, right? How cute. So, I definitely think these are definitely going to go fast. Because I only found just a couple of the skulls and a couple of um, the jack-o'-lanterns. I only picked up, I think, three of them a piece. That's it. So, with these things, I love. Um, they had their Halloween socks. Now, a lot of people rave about their Halloween socks. They're very thin, in my opinion. Um, because I don't like thin socks. Because I live in western New York. And it's cold. It's super cold. It's going to snow probably in the beginning of October, all right? And it goes all the way until May, <laughs> April, May. So we only get a little bit of summer, so it all depends. But anyway, these are the crew socks. Um, we got the jack-o'-lanterns. And I love, love these for, you know, Halloween, when kids have crazy sock day at school, that type of thing. And I love these for gnome making, if you know what I'm talking about. You know, you can make little gnome hats out of this and how cute. So I got that one. This, I absolutely love. Look at that. How cute. And then they always have this pattern every year. And I love this pattern. It's one of my favorites. All right. Now, can I just tell you this? More stickers. Yes, more stickers. Oh my God. I grabbed two of each because I 
am blown away with Dollar Tree. This is so me. So me. Now, I know you guys can't really see that because it is foil. This says Hocus Pocus on there. Hocus Pocus. This one says Spooktacular Witch's Brew. It has a black cat. OMG. Can I just tell you? Like, Hocus Pocus stickers? What Dollar Tree? What are you doing to us? OMG. I love that. And this one is Hocus Pocus ones too. What? 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 I can't believe that. I'm like blown away. I'm blown away. Okay. I got these cute little ghosts. Cute is that with the little coffee. You gotta have coffee in there. And then I feel like I hauled these, but I'm like, I'm just gonna grab another one. But anyway, I got these. Sometimes I forget what I haul. But these are cool. And these are raised. Some of them are raised, like this one and this one, if you guys can see that. I'm telling you, these are worth a dollar. Okay, they come up with these every year, and I sometimes I grab them, sometimes I don't. Um, I noticed that this, um, their tags are definitely different this year. So you get eight skulls for a dollar. So I thought these were pretty cool. You know, love that. Um, they had like books. Um, coloring books that were, you know, um, Halloween related. So I got SpongeBob. So I thought that was pretty cool for my boys. And then they had if your if your girls like sticker faces, like you have like a like a girl, um, and then they put like the lips on and they put the eyes on, you know. That one was cool because it was like each witch was a different, you know, theme kind of, th kind of thing. I thought that was pretty cool. My boys, of course, they didn't want that. but So they wanted this. And then I came across Mickey's Halloween Mystery Book. That was in the same aisle. I found these in the, um, the Halloween section. I thought these were so cool. This is great for a gift as well. Um, another thing I did pick up was one of these. I hauled a different one last haul and they had like the galvanized tin. So I decided to grab this one. Now they had these last year, but these are a little bit different because of this. I'm really thinking about, I feel like I hauled this before. I don't know. Maybe I hauled a different one, like a cream color, but I like this one. So, and this is glitter. So if you guys don't like glitter, you know, we DIY it on the back or put hairspray on it. Um, I hauled one of these last week. I found the cream color of this. I love stuff like this for Halloween. This is pretty cool. Love it. But if you guys don't like this color, I actually hauled a, um, like a dark gray one last week. So, and then I went into like the toy section what Dollar Tree? What are you doing to us? Okay. So every time there's like a little Mickey Mouse, my kids are like, Mom, Mickey Mouse. Because, you know, I'm definitely like a big fan of Mickey. So I'm like, you got, you boys don't need that. It's like for babies. So I told them, fine, get one of each and then um, we'll name them. So anyway, I thought this was really cute. These are great for um, gifts as well. Um, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with this, but me and my kids, we're going to name each one of them and we'll probably put them on a windowsill. So that one was Mickey. This is Donald. And then this was Pooh Bear. How sticking cute he is. But these are great for like little, little boys or girls who love Disney. Love that. And then you guys, I finally found them. And this is what happens when you go to a different Dollar Tree because the Dollar Trees that are near me, they never had this item. And I went to one a little bit ways away. And I've been trying to find this item for the past year. Cutting mats, okay? Cut it. I've been looking for these and I've been wanting these for such a long time. These are amazing. These are the these are really nice quality. If you guys do crafting, that type of thing. These are amazing. I know. 
but um you just never know what you're gonna find at other local dollar trees i'm telling you guys so yeah that's it for my dollar tree haul thanks for watching and if you guys like dollar trees give me that thumbs up and if you didn't subscribe you can always subscribe and we'll see you next one bye guys take care